In this example, we're going to explore what happens when we add a constant to the outside of a function. So what we'll do is start with a function called m of x. That's this function that's graphed here in blue. And we'll add a constant to the outside of this function m of x to form a new function n of x, which has the formula m of x plus 3. So we're adding 3 to the outside of the function n of x. Now to figure out what happens when we do this to the graph of m of x, let's use a table of values to plot some specific points. Let me see if I can get a table here. Okay, here we go. So we got a table of values and then we want to figure out which points we should plot to, fit, to determine what the graph of n of x looks like. Well it turns out that if we focus on the corner points of m of x, where it reaches these sharp points, if we could figure out where these points end up on the graph of n of x, then we'll be able to connect those points and have a graph of the function. So um, let's uh, observe what x values are associated with these, what is it, six points that I've highlighted in dark blue. Uh, it looks like the first x value here is negative four. The next x value here is negative 2. The next x value here is positive 1. The next x value is 2. And then it looks like 3. And finally, 4. Those are those uh, key, uh, the x values for those key corner points on this graph. So now let's figure out what where those, fun those points move on the graph of n of x up here boxed in orange by putting these six x values into that formula. All right, so we'll do n of this x value negative 4 will equal m of negative 4 plus 3. Again, using this formula for the function n of x. Well, we can come over to the graph of m of x to figure out what the output is when the input is negative 4. It looks like m of negative 4 is negative 1. So we can replace m of negative 4 which the, with the number negative 1. And then we're going to add 3 to that output to obtain the output 2. All right, so what this means is that on the graph of n of x, we're going to have the point negative 4 comma 2. When x is negative 4, n of negative 4 is 2. So we could go ahead and get started and plot that point here on our graph. Plotting negative 4, 2. Now let's just keep uh, following the same procedure using each of these red x values. So now I'll use the x value negative 2. n of negative 2 is defined by the boxed expression up there as m of negative 2 plus 3. Now m of negative 2, we come over and find the point at negative 2, look at its output, it looks like it's negative 1, so m of negative 2 is negative 1, and then we'll add 3 to that result, and we'll get the value 2 again. So when the input is 2, is negative 2, the output is positive 2, and so we can plot the ordered pair negative 2, positive 2. Now, uh, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves here, but uh, I'm inclined to go ahead and connect those two dots. Um, they were connected before, um, and so they'll certainly be connected in our uh, shifted graph, our transformed graph. Okay, so now let's uh, use the next uh, x value, positive 1. n of positive 1 is defined to be m of positive 1 plus 3. Now we can go to the graph of m and figure out what happens when we put positive 1 in. Looks like it comes up to this dot here and comes over and gives us the output positive 2. So m of 1 is 2 and then we're adding 3 to that output to get the value 5 and we get the ordered pair 1 comma 5. So we can come over to our graph and plot that point 1 comma 5 and we may as well just go ahead and connect uh, adjacent points because we'll know we know that 
they were connected before, so they'll certainly be connected after we finish our graph of n of x. Now we can use the x value positive 2. n of positive 2 is m of 2 plus 3. So we have to look at our graph and figure out what m of 2 is. We go over and figure out um, where uh, 2 is used on the graph of m, and it looks like the output is 0 there plus 3, which is, of course, just 3. So we get the ordered pair 2 comma 3 on the graph of n. So we can go ahead and plot that point and connect our adjacent dots. Now we can put 3 in. n of 3 is defined to be m of 3 plus 3, again just using our formula for the function n of x. Now we look at our graph of m to figure out what m of 3 is. Go over to where x is 3, come up to our graph, and we get the output positive 3. And let me add 3 to that and get the number 6. Ran out of room on that one. So when x is 3, y is 6. So we can plot the point 3 comma 6. And we may as well just connect adjacent dots so that we get the right contour. Finally, we can put 4 into the function. And, oops, trying to use different colors there. n of 4 is defined to be m of 4 plus 3. We look on our graph of m to figure out what happens when x is 4. Looks like the output 0 there. And then we add 3 to that result, and of course we end up with 3. So when x is 4, y is 3, so we get the order pair 4 comma 3. And plot that and connect our adjacent dots. All right, so now we've got a graph of this function n of x, where n of x is m of x plus 3. And what we could do is step back and observe how do these two graphs compare. Well, it looks like they have the exact same shape, right? They start with a horizontal chunk. Another, this one has a horizontal chunk. And then this one goes uphill. Whoops. Then this one goes uphill too. The horizontal, and then up, and then this one goes down, and this one goes down the same way, and then this one goes up, and this one goes up the same way. You probably get the get the picture. These are parallel graphs. I think we could use that term. They have the exact same shape. It just one of them is three units higher than the other. One of them has been shifted up by three units. So. In our, when we um, try to conclude what's going on here, the graph of y equals n of x, where this function is defined as m of x plus 3, is the same as the graph of plain old y equals m of x, but shifted up three units. So it turns out when we add three to the output for, of the function, we all the outputs become three units bigger, and that results in shifting the graph up three units.